Today, friends, we're going to use the brand new Tinkercad sketch tool to make a horse. So let's get cracking. Friends, step one is to find the template. I need you to type bit.ly slash hlhorse. That'll take you to tinkercad.com. If you have not signed in, you will need to sign in to Tinkercad. I always recommend sign in with Google. Of course, the golden rule of Tinkercad is to give a reaction before you copy and tinker. Once that step is completed, you'll have our template for making the horse. Of course, over here, you can find all sorts of information that I've shared as well. If you want those notes hidden, you can simply hit Shift N to hide the notes. All right, so let me show you how this works. These circles are spheres. If we're making something that's truly 3D, I'm going to bring out a sphere and I'm going to Shift Drag to get it close to the size for each spot. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. My height I chose was 35 millimeters. So I'm just going to shift shrink this one to something close to 35 millimeters. I think that's still about the same size and it's going to work out really cool. I'm going to use this again by doing control D and then the head is smaller. So it'll be centered on that area. We're going to use what's called alt shift. So it stays centered in that spot. I'm going to just go to size 30. We'll adjust those later as we play. Once again, back to this one, control D and let's get the hind quarters as well. Alt shift to make it a little smaller. Find the number that you think looks great. And we'll work from there in a bit. Now, the next thing we're going to do is use the Epic Sketch tool to make the individual legs. Right now, you can see those legs are joined. We're going to split them. Check this out. Bring the sketch tool out and set it on top of our SVG that I got for you. We're going to do this bottom leg first, and we're going to start from right here. We're going to switch to the Bezier Curve mode. If you click and click again, it still does straight. If you click and hold, that's how you can bend and twist to make the curves. I am going to just get this close. I do not need it perfect. I'm always trying to teach you how to do stuff, and then you can keep fiddling to try and make yours perfect. Notice this doesn't bend the way I want, but I'm just going to click and continue and come down here. And then I want to make this a little bit round, so I'm going to click and bend and bend to bring it back home. I'm going to just follow that line, come underneath, and then click. Now, once you've got that made rough, you can click on each point and you can adjust it. So right now, if I turn on those handles, you can see how it splits it and they do not do the same thing anymore. So I can get it more to that exact shape I wanted. And you can continue to play as you make it more and more realistic using this technique. See how those are symmetrical? I am gonna quickly click on that point and I'm gonna break them. That way I can make it adjust to the exact spot I want. I'm also going to show you that if you shut off the grid, you can move it right on top of the other lines. Once again, I am not making this perfect. I just want you to see how this works. I'm also going to show you that you can grab entire line segments as you play too. I'm going to split that one because I do want that to bend a little bit. And then I'm going to bring this one down here and I'm going to call this good. Of course, once again, you can make this perfect. I'm just showing you how to build it. That is leg number one. I'm going to turn that nudge back on. I do want you to understand we've got to switch between that because now I'm going to do control down arrow to nudge that into place. So there you can see how the body is going to be past the leg and then the legs will come out and be right where they're supposed to be. Let's repeat that process for all four of these legs. Once again, bring it out, set it on top, make sure you don't miss and then sketch it. Bezier curve, shut off the snap grid. I'm going to start right here. Remember you can click a straight one or you can click and hold to give it a little bit of bend and just follow the shape as closely as you want. And finally, click finish. I'm going to do D to drop this down to the bottom. Once again, switch my nudge back on and raise it up a few clicks. And bingo, we've got a horse with two legs. Let's bring out that sketch tool and repeat the steps in the back. After we zoom out, I am panning by doing shift, right click, drag. You can also, you can also push in the middle mouse button. Once again, Bezier curve, grid off, and trace.
Same steps, so we'll speed this up with video editing. And finish. I'll do the nudge on that later. Let's just go right to sketching that back leg. Zoom and pan. Bezier mode. Still off. Click. Click. Trace like usual, but then check this edit. If you ever decide to add a point, you can simply click in here to add it. Do note you have to switch back to modify, or when you click that point again, it is in erase mode. I'll show you that real quickly. If you click on points, it erases them. If there is no point, it adds them. Once again, you got to go over here to modify them. Modify and adjust just like before. And finally, when you're happy, click finish. And let's set that nudge back to one. I'm going to shift click these two legs, choose L for a line, click on this one and make it the master. Same thing down here, shift click, L for a line, and I'm gonna make that one the master. If we hide our template, bingo, you have got horse legs. Now they are totally straight, so if you wanted to make these more rounded, what you would start doing is build these other spots with spheres. I'm going to just set this out here. I'm going to shift nudge it down. And you could use several spheres to make this a rounded horse leg. Once again, as an educator, I'm just trying to get you the skills so that you can make something awesome. I do want to remind you, if you do make something awesome, share it back to me with the HLMT23 tag when you make your design public. Let's quickly do show all to bring our pieces back. Let me show you a fun piece that we can make the neck and body with. We need to click the search button and I want to search for the new banana. When you find this, we'll simply bring it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift stretch this so it's large enough to be that neck piece. Notice how that fits in the neck area pretty darn well. And then check this out. If we drag the handles, we can make it curve the way that horse's neck does. I'm also going to do control D and set it aside because we can use this for the body as well. I'm finding the angle that I think looks close enough to how it works with that horse. Notice this really looks like it needs to flip the other way. We can just take the curvature and bend it the other way. Bingo. That's pretty nifty. I'm going to move it back a couple clicks. Just rotate it a little bit. Notice if you look at it from the top, you can find this handle right here to get it exactly how you want it to be. One more nudge on this bend and a few more twists. And I'm going to call that good enough for my project. Once again, I'm going to get this aligned by shift selecting the two. L for a line, make the blue on the boss, and I want to center it. Now I need to trim off the parts that I don't want. I'm going to do that by simply moving back to our basic shapes and bringing out a cube. I'm going to make it crazy large, and then I'm just going to cut this off where it cuts in. Notice I'm using the black handles to make that larger. It is easier than using the white handles, which do two directions at once. I'll do Control Z to undo what I just did. Control D to make a second one of this, and I want to make sure it cuts off up there as well. Once again, shift select. I've got the orange one. Shift on the first hole, shift on the second hole, and control G to group. And there, my friends, is the neck of our horse. I am going to move it into place. Once again, finding that rotation handle. Notice you have to twist sometimes. And bingo. That's pretty darn awesome. If you miss by a little bit, notice you can double click. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to rotate it to a little different angle. So it cuts the way I want. So I'm going to end up turning this so it cuts like this instead of how it was. That is super close. Let's see what happens if I nudge it one click over. Not bad. If I squeeze it, boom, I have got the neck of the horse. How cool is that? Let's do that same trick over here with the body. Once again, bring it into place. Looking at all this from the top, there's my rotation. If you ever move something, you can do Control Z to undo. That body fits in there pretty good. Couple of twists to get it exactly right. I think I'm going to do shift stretch to make it a little larger. I want more of a curve. 
So once again, if you're looking at this flat view from the top, you can get a better view of if it's doing what you want. Let's do that curve adjustment. I think that looks really good. And now let's grab our cutting tools. Once again, bring it out, shift stretch to make it large. I'll peek from that side to make sure it's cutting everything I want. I'm going to cut this off right back here so it comes into the blue, but it cuts off all that orange. And Control D, bring this one out here, rotate it just a little bit because I want to make sure it gets all the way into that blue, but cuts off the orange underneath. So let's select these. Once again, it's Shift Select, click, click, and Control G, and you've got your body of your horse. I'm going to click on these two, Shift Select. L for a line. Once again, the blue one needs to be the boss. If I look at it from the left, it is real easy to see that one and align it just the way you want. Friends, if we click on our template and hide it, that is starting to look like a horse. Once again, show all to bring it back. I'm going to switch back to perspective view just because that is the one that I prefer. Let's move up here and make the horse's face. Once again, click on it. Switch to Bezier mode. I'm going to leave the grid on this time just because I don't think it matters that much. I'm going to click down here and hold. I'll adjust these in a minute. I do want to give them a mouth, so I'm going to cut the mouth out ahead of time. Once again, click and hold so that turns. Click and hold so that turns. This is kind of this area here, but I want to make it a little larger, I think. Click for that little chin. Click and hold so it's got a little twist. And once again, you can modify this all after you're done. Come back through, and I'm going to click and hold to make the back of the head. I am going to quickly shut off that nudge. That way I can be a little more perfect. Once again, I want to bring that down and bend this one below. There is a lot of value in shutting off that nudge. If you're trying to be perfect, which once again, I will also let you know that the fewer points you have, the more smooth your curves turn out. You can switch from straight line to broken line if you're holding on a segment and of course make that look as cool as can be. One last bend and let's finish that sketch. I'm going to make this a bit thicker, turn my nudge back on, but then I'm going to shift select this body piece that we're kind of using as the boss. I'm going to click L for a line, and I want it to be centered on this part. So once again, I select that part as the master, and bingo, that's where the head of the horse is going to be. Now, friends, this is pretty much where I'm going to stop. Of course, you can trace your own tail. You can trace your own ears, you can add eyes, teeth, nostrils, any other parts you want to add to your horse, but I'd like you to challenge yourself as you make those awesome shapes. I'll just show you real quickly. If you want to make an ear, this is a cool tool. Bring out two of them, take one and make it a hole, slide it in, make it a tiny bit taller. When you're happy, do control G to group. And bingo, you've got something you can use as your horse's ear. Notice that would fit right up there. We would have to rotate it to get it placed where we want. Of course, you can also make awesome eyes. Don't forget for those, you can bring out a sphere. I'm going to shrink this one down a bit. Let's say I go to like size nine. I'm going to make it the white part of the eye. I'm going to quickly click on that and do control D. Double check that my nudge is on. It is. So if I do control up, that raises up two clicks with two presses. I'm going to make that the black eyeball. And then I'm going to do shift squeeze to make it smaller. Notice I went inside the shape. Now I'm just going to do control up to move that up. If you want it to a finer nudge, you can do 0.25 and find the exact spot you think looks great. Once you've got your eyeball, do control G to group. And then don't forget to turn on multicolor. So now you've got ears and eyes. Once again, sketch for the mane, sketch for the tail. And you're ready to start finishing this horse and make it look fantastic. When you do finish your horse, you can delete the template or you could just hide it. 
Friends, as you can see, I have placed my eyes, added a mane, added a tail. Once again, those are all just the basic steps. Don't forget, if you ever see something you don't like, like this back leg here, I don't like the way it is right now, I can double click on that, get back in the edit, and I can simply go to this one right here and make sure it has a shape that is more appealing to me. It's that easy to go back and modify as you play with these. There's my finished sketch. If I were going to 3D print this, I would want these hooves to be cut flat. I might want the tail to be down here so it could balance. It may be a faster print if you print it oriented like this, but let me show you how to stand it up. And I'll also show you how to publish it so you can show the world what you made. So first we're going to grab all of it and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Notice if you stay inside the circle, it's 22 and a half degrees per turn. If you hold the shift key, it is 45 degrees per turn. Once it is standing, hit D to drop. So you can see your awesome horse. I'm gonna aim this at me by rotating it 90 more degrees. Once again, shift rotate makes that super quick. Now to publish this, I'm gonna click on settings and I'm gonna change my background. I'm gonna give it a green color. I'm gonna shut off the work plane. That is better for taking pictures of it. But of course, remember, you can round all this, change the colors, and make it unbelievably awesome. But let me show you how to publish it. Simply click back here on the Tinkercad dashboard. Click right here on Properties. Course, give it a name. Give it details. Notice mine mentions that the tutorial is coming soon. And of course, give it tags. If you tag it with HLMT23, once again, I'll be able to see what you made because I check that tag every day. I'm also going to add the word horse and I'm going to put standing horse. And of course, I already added all the words tutorial. Finally, make your design public. And then if you want the whole world to be able to modify your design, hit share a like. If you want it to be your design only and they can just see it and give you reactions, simply choose no derivatives and hit save changes. Friends, of course, as I wrap up, there's a lot of room for you to make this more epic and I'm really looking forward to seeing how you do it. Don't forget to tag it with that HLMT23 so I can check it out. I also want to say thanks to Danica for the original request. I also got a nudge from DC Broadcast Podcast. And I want to thank my cousin Darlene for being the person that let me actually ride a real horse. Finally, friends, I want to thank my supporters on Patreon. Don't forget you can learn more in the description and with the bit.ly up above. Of course, friends, I also want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.